with a G H G C 107. Ball and <laughs> your name Melvin. Ah, what up, y'all? It's your man Melvin Taylor Jr. Back with another reaction. Melvin Taylor Jr. A.K.A. Melvin Taylor. I, I, of course, back with another mm -hmm. reaction. This one is for Drizzy Drake's Scorpion album. Y'all, we have waited and waited and waited for this time. The album was pushed back whole nine. We are finally here now, though. And, um, man, a lot of controversy for Drake going on right now. You know, you got the... <sighs> Brother, it's just, it's just been a lot, especially with the, the beef back and forth with Push and... You know, you feel like you're on top of the world, and next thing you know, you are hiding a child. Let that boy come home. Happen, and then it was just all us. Man, it's not been it's not been the greatest of things. But thinking that this double album right here might be able to push some of that under the rug and try and make us forget about that. You know, I did see the um the short uh like the trailer that they put out. I was like, yo, why I always feel like a a Miami. Uh, a dark Miami night, Miami Vice type feel. Whenever I watch it, but I, I loved it. It was it was dope. Um, it was very stylistic in where I feel like Drake is right now in terms of what he up. Uh, that looks ugly. I'm not gonna do that no more. In terms of uh, where he is right now, what's going on with him? Um, man, what else can I? Yo, are we supposed to get this album back? Like, what was it? Two weeks ago? A week ago? But now we got it now. So, man, I'm just. I'm just hyped to hop into the album, so I'm not even gonna really hold y'all like that. Um, let's just go ahead and get into the music, cause the music will be the majority of what we're gonna end up talking about. Um, what else did I want to say to y'all about this album? Oh, um, uh, this is what I did want to say though. Um, these videos will be cut up um, differently, cause as y'all know, I be trying to get y'all these album reactions ASAP. But, you know, sometimes YouTube don't be messing with the way in which I edit them. So, I'm going to try and get this to y'all as best as I possibly can. Um, if you want a more full version of this, I will have that on my IGTV at some point in time very soon. So, make sure you check that. So, that way you can be on the up and up and, and get a whole different experience than what everybody else is going to get. But, um, aside from that, man, YouTube, y'all my love. Y'all my home. So, I got to give y'all the absolute best I can. So we can go ahead and roll through this. Here's what I, okay, now we good. All right, I got it pulled up. The fact that he got a Jay-Z feature on here already is like, okay, what kind of contentious relationship do y'all to, what type of like contentious, dysfunctional ass shit do y'all got going on where y'all can like, y'all can like, uh, uh, what do I want to say? Y'all can throw these jabs back and forth at one another and like say it in a meaning, meaningful way. Like you mean what you saying. But they'd be like, alright, cool, I'll be on your album type of thing. I don't know, man. It could just be from an outside perspective that they don't seem to get along. And maybe behind the scenes they do. They just real passive aggressive what they do. Because both of them kind of are. Um, Static Major, uh, Ty Dolla Sign. I'm expecting that song to hit. You cannot have Static Major and Ty Dolla Sign on a song. And that song does not hit. So I know that's going to come through at some point in time on Volume 2 or on the B-side. And then, brother, you got Michael Jackson on your album. You know how much people got to pay to even, like, use something on Michael Jackson and you have him on your album? That song better be a smash, too. Because otherwise, you done wasted a lot of money. How you going to have Michael Jackson? Yo, you, Joe Jackson died. And then he was like, I want Michael Jackson on my album. And Joe went up there and was like, hey, Michael, get to work. Come on, bro. Come on, dog. Let Mike live. Let Mike live. But anyway... Let me not even say that. Let Mike rest. That's, that's a lot better. Let Mike rest in peace, man. Um, let me check this group chat real quick. Oh, this thing. Whoa, hold on. This thing blew up. Wait a minute. Don't you hate when you put your phone down for a second? And then um, everything just kind of like blow up real fast. I was not expecting that to happen as quickly. Um, oh, you got in trouble for that message. Oh, boy. <laughs> You ever like, uh, yo, I'll just put it this way. Y'all know the, the Nick Young gif? I basically just, I ain't do that though. Um, I would just leave that alone. I just, you know, you shoot, a, you shoot a message and you just like, hey, <laughs> wait till they see. Oh, uh, uh, that happened? Okay. Um, my bad. I ain't mean for that to happen. But anyway, 
You know who you are if you see this video. My bad. Anyway, uh, let's go ahead and hop into this, man. The first, we're going to do side A right now. This is side A of Scorpion. Damn, this shit, an hour and a half long, almost like two. Well, you could have added two seconds to a song, bro, and just made the hour and a half. But anyway, this first song right here is Survival. So without further ado, y'all, Jersey Drake, Scorpion. Let's do it. I've been waiting on this. Me too. Yeah. Four different expressions. Mmm. Who's giving out this much return on investment? Ooh. Ask my run, man, how is that even a question? I had real Philly niggas try to write my ending. Taking shots with the gold and talking about shots to be sending. I've had struggles with bad boys that wasn't pretended. Mm -hmm. I've had too many nights to mention, that's just the beginning. I like that. I'm pretty sure I've seen this movie a hundred times. I know where it's headed. Realize someone gotta die when no one are dead. It. Uh. Niggas gambling when they like for some content. That's the type of lottery that could get your top pick. Uh. I'm a creep of the flight. Bernie Mac, he dresses himself I stopped asking myself and I started feeling myself Now I gotta deal with all this drama and deal with myself <laughs> Let me not get ahead of myself Okay, Drake! Hey, Drake came through and was like Oh, y'all y'all niggas want a rap and R&B album, huh? Alright Alright, Sweat, Suit, Nelly, what's good? I got y'all Oh, that's that one right there That song was Survival Ooh, okay Drake out here flexing on this first one. All right, did I call him Drake? Drake out here flexing on this first one. All right, um, for things that just stick out automatically. I was about to, no, nah, never mind. I'm assuming that was a Pusha T reference that he was about to really come out with something. But after the whole J Prince conversation, he was like, let me just dead this real quick. Hey, the uh, Meek Mill, I got boys out in Philly and then come back with the Diddy uh, bad boys trying to get me like, um, Line later on. I know I'm paraphrasing. I didn't get it exactly. That was fire. That was fire right there. Also, uh, what did he say at the... Oh, shit. Hold on. Bro, it was just so much. Hold on. Where was this at? First of all, can we talk about this beat? This... Oh, this felt like some menacing, like... Oh, oh. This was like the Marvel... The Marvel villain we always wanted type shit. Like, here's the bad guy. Here he, this is the one we needed right here. Like that's who, ooh. We're gonna talk about it, so. I stopped asking myself and I start feeling myself. I like that line a whole lot just because of how much that can apply to everybody in terms of being like, yo, you wanna get something done? Bro, stop asking for permission, just start doing. I had that conversation with um a big homie of mine the other day, uh, a real, real good friend of mine. And he was just like, bro, listen, at this point in the game, you got to stop asking niggas questions and just, just start doing shit, bro. The plan is simple. And I was like, you know what? You are correct, my G. Yo, I, this survival, hey, this this was a cold ass, and yo, this beat is so fire, too. Talking about shots to be sending. I've had struggles with bad boys that wasn't pretending. I've had too many nights to mention, that's just the beginning. All right, oh, also, I don't pop mollies, my mollies pop, uh, yo, my mollies pop niggas, oh! God damn, you give me your girls the burners too, bro. We only want song again. Not this video long as shit. We only want song again. All right, cool. That's enough for that one. Um, survival. I already know I'm gonna be going back to that track. Um, here's this song. What we got here? What we got here? Hey, what we got here? What we got here? Hey, well, don't mess with me when I'm in the zone. Let me stop. This next one right here is called Non Stop. As a matter of fact, so let's go ahead and hop into it. Non Stop, Drizzy Drake. I'm really trying to hear what the sample's saying, but I can't open it. It's so rolling, not a stop. Why shit don't ever stop? Sound like we turning the oven on. Alright, so that right there was non-stop by Drake. Uh, I like the, uh, I'm a light skin, but I'm a really a dark skin nigga. I like, that line was cool. The beat was dope. I just, <sighs> what do I want to say about this track, man? I feel like this is a track that's certainly going to grow on me, in a sense. It's going to be something that I'm going to hear, and I'm going to be like, okay, cool, I kind of mess with it right now. But my initial reaction is like, I don't, I don't like it when Drake tries to sound too much like how everybody does today, but... 
with Drake being who he is, which is like a plethora of a lot of artists in one. Well, let me not even say that. The fact that he can just hop on so many styles and be able to like still keep his level of like Drakeness on there, if y'all kind of get what I'm saying. Um, I feel like this is something that's going to bang with the younger generation more so than it will with me and everybody that originally knew him from like the, the you know, like the Take Cares, the um, Thank Me Now and the So Far Gone and, and whatnot. But um, I think it's cool. It just ain't for me though. Just ain't for me, 100%. But at least not right now. But we'll see what's up. I, it's got potential to grow on me because I, I really like the beat. I just hate the. I'm I'm over that. Uh, up next, what we got right here is Elevate. Let's get into it. You better still be rapping on this side, bro. Don't don't switch up on me like that. That was Elevate, ladies and gentlemen. I like I like Elevate. Um, I hope he don't go back and forth on like the singing and rapping throughout the entirety of this project. I hope it's like a more more defined. Bro, I'm spitting the entire time on this track, and I'm singing um, on this one. Now, if he blends back and forth on certain songs, cool. But I don't want it to get too messy. If this gonna be a for real like R and B and rap album. Um, I thought this song was dope. I don't know if he really needed. That ending part, like he did, he could have cut, he could have chopped that up some more. Oh, this is what I was gonna say. Just I'm jumping back to nonstop real quick. As much as like I thought nonstop was cool, I wish nonstop would have been shorter and survival would have been longer. Just like I feel like you could have cut out those 10, 15 seconds and mixed in the song and made survival longer. I'm just survival still is like number one to me right now. Elevate to nonstop is number three so far, but um. This song is cool. It makes me, you know, shout out to God for working harder than the devil. Um, this song was dope. It's not. I mean, I don't, I don't really have too much. It's not something that I feel overly passionate. Oh, sun back up. I don't have anything that I feel like overly passionate about it. Um, I feel like it's a cool melody. <laughs> Shout out to whoever like produced this project. So far, you hey listen, your beats ain't your beats is there, bro. Hey, yes, I see why you produced this project. This is great. This is great. Hold on, let me try and see. I like that whole take it back real quick. That contagious line that he said with him and his homies, how he got it and then his homies got it and it felt contagious. That was kind of dope. I'm in better way. Happened for myself and my family. That was kind of cool. That was kind of cool. I felt like Drake for a second. Matter of fact, Drake felt like Melvin for a second. All right, that was that one right there. Now we're gonna go ahead and hop into uh, this next song. It's called Emotionless. Emotionless is the name of this. Oh man, my background is light as hell. There we go. Uh, Emotionless is the next one. Let's go ahead and hop into it. Before I let this song finish, real quick, my mama texted me this morning and was like, yo, I like that Drake song, Emotion. So I was like, uh, all right, I guess that means I really gotta get into this album. So shout out to you moms, especially if you be watching these videos, I really appreciate it. Um, I'm about to listen to this song that you texted me about this morning, Emotionless. So, uh, ooh, hold on. Hopefully that'll smooth things over. Anyway, this song, let's just pull it back. Emotionless. I already heard I heard the choir bit. That's probably why she liked it. That's probably why, but let's see, let's see what happened, mama. Let me hear your ear real quick. Sound like when I was growing up in church on Sunday. Oh, we got five minutes of this too? You better spit, nigga. You better spit. Don't hit me when you're here and tell me your favorite song. Brothers, I feel out of place. Uh -huh. Break this 
speed records on most of these niggas' page. Ooh. And they don't like that, it's written all on their face. Ooh. I don't know how I'm gonna make it out of here clean. Okay, mama, you might know what you're doing out here. Pick a song, okay? You might know what you're doing, mama. People at home, cause all that matter was impressing everybody she's known. I know another girl that's crying out for help, but the latest caption is leave me alone. Look at the way we live. I wasn't hiding my kid from the world, I was hiding the world from my kid. Oh, souls who just wake up and look in the bait. Until you staring at your seat, you can never relate. Breaking why let the story run up this false. You know a wise man once said nothing at all. Nigga. I'm exhausted and drained, I can't even pretend. Yo, he had to have rewritten this. Let me wait. Give me some take care vibes, 40, let's go. That's enough right now. This song is called Emotion. Hey, mama, you picked a good one. You picked it. This one, this one was nice, mama. This one was nice. First of all, oh, first things first. This nigga had to have rewritten this song or recently wrote this song to be able to address the entire baby situation and then to come at it the way that you did I what did he say I wasn't hiding um, my kid from the world I was hiding the world from my kid and you won't be able to you be paraphrasing you won't be able to know what he was going through until you look at your own seed type I, I ain't no parent but I can I can definitely like understand to a sense not wanting to expose uh, everything to your child too early or even like all that attention and all that energy just because you know you don't want your child to be in a position where they're unprepared in a sense to be able to deal with that granted this child is very small but you know we don't understand the significance of what that's gonna have on his life uh, until later on you know we won't know how um, blue turns out how Sir Remy turns out how North and uh, 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 Chicago and Saint, how they turn out. We won't really know how these superstars' kids ultimately turn out until later on. You don't want anything to happen early enough that can really affect them like that. I definitely felt that. Cause you know, it's times like with even family members I got. So for example, my little brother, like there's a lot of stuff that I was glad that me and him can have the conversation about those things in life now that um, we didn't have them too early to where it could have either jaded him or made him think of things things in this specific point of view. I'm glad that he was able to come to like a realization and a maturation of his own and then say, okay, we can now have these types of conversations. I felt that. Yo, I was about to say how many girls did Drake know, but why would I even ask that question? Because you can't have a Drake album without him referencing some girls that we won't know. Uh, you talk about that girl going wrong and she just posted pictures for everybody back home. Look at me, nigga. I'm spitting. I am so quick with... Oh, let me stop. Anyway, um, I felt that. I felt all of that social media shit so much. So much. And even she's typing on her captions, leave me alone, even though that you know she needs somebody to reach out to. Why does Drake just be cutting through and talking to all these girls like that, bro? Every single time, bro. And then it's what's what's so crazy about Drake is that he can do this, and it uh, it can like apply. He's like speaking to our lives, bro, because he just is he just knows. But Drake is the person that everybody's in the room, and ain't nobody saying nothing about what's going on. But Drake, hey, can we just address this elephant real quick? Cause don't nobody want to say nothing, and everybody like, yeah, I kind of agree with what Aubrey's saying, cause you know I ain't want to say nothing about the type of thing. Like that's. Ah, oh, that was that was cold. That was he also he said something else. Hold on. Mm, mm, mm. I always heard that like you really don't want to meet your heroes because you never know what they ultimately gonna be like. I've had the fortune. I've been fortunate enough, let me say, to meet a few of them, and I haven't had too many experiences like that. But I do feel him when he's talking about you meet some of these people and then things change and they go from bad to even worse even when some of those things are rehearsed in the sense of this is how they're supposed to act to keep up this specific persona I... okay Aubrey Graham you 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 look like you did came what we on we on song number four all right right now all right come on bro don't don't let me down all right 
That's enough for this song. Emotionless is fire. Hey, shout out to you, Mama, because you picked a good song. He was like, I like that emotion song. I was like, all right, I'm, I'm going to get to it later. Now I'm like, I like that emotion song too, mama. I like it too. That was dope. Uh, number five is God's Plan. Y'all seen my video reacting to it, so I'm going to just go ahead and plug that down below so that way y'all can get to that. Um, y'all also seen me react to the I'm Upset, yeah. I don't really like that song like that, no. But the video is going to be down below so that way you can go ahead and check it out. Oh, so that one is going to be down there too. We're just going to go ahead and skip to 8 out of 10, all right? 8 out of 10. Let's just go ahead and get to it. Too rich for who? Y'all just got rich again. Mm. Who grips the mic and likes to kill their friends? Ooh. I've never been the type to make amends. It's right. I tell you, hear me out, but we both know end of the day. Mm. Your sister is pressing play, your trainer is pressing play. Your wife be, your wife be, your wife be, your wife be. I gotta breathe real deep when I catch an attitude. Uh. They said they only bless when they attach to you. The only dead beats is whatever beats I've been rapping to. And the product is still the best though. Huh. Settled into my role as the good guy. I guess luck is on your side. Okay, push. That was. I guess luck is on your side. All right, all right. All sevens, no sixes. Rest easy. Get some shut up. It's making them pay. Hella pat for Will Smith. Crib straight to the stage. Woo hoo! Home shows, but I play staples today. The neighborhood is smoky. I stay safe in this place. Trizzy got to drop the game. He gets a break. You mad? <laughs> Look at you. You mad? You big man. <laughs> <laughs> I'm happy. Leave me alone. Yo, is this flies? I just want something So that right there was eight out of ten. I feel like on the part where he was like, yo wifey, yo wifey, yo wife was still subtle shots and pushing being like Alright, that's cool. I settled into my role of being a good guy, aka Jay Prince said I can't respond, so I'm not. But I'm gonna throw you some of these subs real fast and know that your wife gonna play this, home, uh, homeboy. I felt like that was plies on the hand talking. Somebody let me know, but it sounded like, um, you know that song? I know you heard me on the radio. True, I know you feel the end of thing, you know. True, is it, oh, is it, she's a slut, she's a freak. Got a different girl every day of the week. Uh, I crush on you. I feel like that's what the um, that's where that well that had to be where he got that from, or that might even have been what he sampled. But this was this was fire. This was fire. I'm, I guess luck is on your side. I mean, if if you call luck, Jay Prince not want to mess up his bread, then yes, sir, you are absolutely right. I'd say the same thing. Hey, bro, no, we ain't finna do all that. Mess up this Adidas. I need me my free shoes and merchandise. Don't play. Uh uh. Man, I had to come and feel like I did like that. I had the Copperfield like Presto Walla to go ahead and get his mansion out in Toronto. That was cool. That was dope. I, I liked how he flipped that line. White man is parked across the street, real subtle guy. Yeah. Never matter, could I, should I kiss my mom on the forehead? White for your life, for your smoky outside. Yeah, also, after the whole push it, he had to go back and like rewrite this. He had, because there is no way that you can, you're saying all of this and. Um, this is before Pusha even put out his album. You were going dress all this and you were done? Nah, bro. You went you went back in with the pen and did some of this right here. So your wife, your wife, It's only good in my city because I said so. Boss moves. Just a city estate, man. I had to come. Yep, heard that already. Alright. I guess luck is on your side. Yeah. Alright, so that was 8 out of 10. I liked it, man. I liked 8 out of 10. That was dope. I might be playing that some more. Yo, wifey, yo, wifey. I might even use that as like a um an intro on the show or something like that. Like, uh Melvin's like, who likes to listen to your show? Yo, wifey, yo, wife. I don't know. I don't know. I gotta flip that somehow. But yeah, can y'all let me know if that was Plies on the end? Do Plies got a video where he talking like that? I ain't trying to argue with you. No. Do he got a video like that? Y'all let me know. We're gonna go ahead. 8 out of 10, and now we're going to roll right into Mob Ties. Let's do it. Man. Stop honking. Mm. Mm. Please turn up some more. Hit the boom boom. Yeah. I'm your brother shit. Yeah. 
Hey, who from Chicago wrote this for you, bro? I am a grinder. My bitch is now now. Your bitch is harder. Come get a thing. I'm patient. It's a gift. Try to tell them they ain't got it for a dance. Yeah, I can tell. I just paid them two for forty million. Like you care? Hey, oh. Yo, song was dope, bruh. Song was dope. Song was absolute fire. My bad, my phone is blowing up because I might have to do a performance later on. So I'm like, man, um, oh man. Uh, as soon as it started, I was like, please hit the buh -da -buh and make that shit like drop because I know that's gonna be fire. I know a hell of people gonna be playing it. I know it's gonna be, I can't use the word lit because Donald Trump Jr. You used that. So I'm done with that word. What is his name? Eric? I don't know which one. One of them used it. This got the junior on the end of their name. So I can't, I, don't, I ain't trying to use that word no more. Rest in peace to lit. But um, the, the song, yo, it's, oh, the song was so dope. Uh, I felt like so, I was like, man, who? Bro, the little Dirk slides you this song. They bump J slides you this, who from Chicago? Wrote you this song, bro. Cause this sound like something I'm gonna go back home and listen to on the radio, or maybe I'm gonna play on the radio when they hire me and, and get me up on there on the air real quick. You know what I mean? So, oh, this was fire, bro. As a yeah, yeah, yeah. Damn, I'm hot as hell in here now, bro. And it got real hot off of that. I knew that shit was going to so, As soon as it started, I was like, oh, nigga, this going to turn up. This? Yes. This one right here. This one right here. All right, Mob Ties. Um, that was that one. Now we got to go into um, what we got next. Can't Take a Joke is up next. Let's do it. Hey. 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 on that last one. I had to hurry up before uh, the beat ran out. Alright, that right there was Can't Take a Joke. Obviously, with Mob Ties, I can't take a joke. Yo, I was having so much fun that I wasn't paying attention too much to the lyrics. I'm gonna get that back on the playback. But, it was, it was, I like I like Can't Take a Joke too. Um, do I like it more than I like like Non-Stop and Elevate though? <sighs> I think I do. I think I do. I like both. I like both of those more than I do. Um, elevate more than non-stop. Non-stop right now is currently at the bottom for me. But can't take a joke. Was nice. It, it felt like some uh, all right, some we in some LA. We on the way to the turn up type thing. Where the hell? Anywhere you at? We on our way to the turn up type type thing. I'm with my boys and with my crew. We finna have a good time. Boy, if you a lady out there with my girls and with my crew, we finna have a good time. Or if you got a mixed group, I'm with my peoples. I'm with my group. We finna have a good time, bro. Ain't no discrimination over here on this side. Can't take a joke. That was nice. That was nice. Okay. All right, all right, all right. Come on, Drake. I said this is gonna be your best body of work yet. I put that out. I need you to come on, come on, come through with it. Let's go, let's go. Next up, we got Sandra's Rose. That's his. I think that's his mama's name. Yeah, cause homegirl, he had the baby with his Sophie, right? I don't know. But we finna go ahead and get into it. Sandra's Rose is up next. Let's do it. <laughs> Yo, you finna get real reflective on this. I feel it coming. Okay. Magic Carter couldn't even get the deal done. Louisville, hush money for my young gunners. Uh. Rick Casino, I take them to strip clubs and casino. Uh. Said that I broke like Indiana Jones. I make them hoes walk together like I'm Amber Rose. Yeah. Fuck that, I gotta up the end. Okay, verse one. Shout out Nipsey Hustle. And, and you got the old school sample on it. 
Let's go, Drake. I'm standing at the top of where you niggas are climbing the reach. I even got my very own initials inscribed in my sheets. Subtle reminders are key. Jeez. Right, that one right there, ladies and gentlemen, was called Sandra's Rose. I like that one a lot, especially, um, I'm gonna hit the whole, the, the first verse was, Drake, you floated on that one, brother. You floated on that first verse. Let me go back to it real quick. Sandra's Rose, two girls that I broke like Indiana Jones. I made them hoes walk together like I'm Amber Rose. That was fire. That was, that was a fire line. That was a fire line, most definitely. What else we have on there? Yeah. Stones and crystals. But it's gonna take more than to work out his issues, okay, okay. Shout out to his uncle from, um, what's it, look look what you've done as well. This um, shit's too serious, you niggas, my comic relief. I find it funny how I keep on talking it. Louisville, I'm having up and satisfied, real one. Cross the border fence. Let me just talk real quick. I'm trying to, I forget the other line that I was looking for. Um, I hope it wasn't a Nipsey Hussle line. I can't remember, it, it didn't blend it together already. Damn, bro, why the clouds keep coming up? All right, Um, just real quick, uh, I tell you, link up on the 33rd and they be cursing me out and it don't be, ooh, it be dirty words or something like that. Man, Drake, I feel you, brother, because after a certain point in time, when you start getting busy, like, I never, I was one of them folks that never understood when somebody was like, yo, I'm just busy, I'm sorry, type of thing, because I was always like, at least I was always told, like, if you, if you really want to make something happen and you really want to meet with somebody, like, you'll move what you got to out the way to make it happen. But nowadays, I be understanding, dog. I be understanding, because, like, say, for example, I, I do the improv, I got the radio show, I got the TV show. I got the, the, the YouTube that I do. Um, I got some uh, two other projects that I'm working on and I'm going now to real soon for y'all that's gonna be coming up on the channel. Um, and I just be like so tired. And then, you know, I still try and make time to have a personal life. You know, I got a family and whatnot too. I'm like, yo, it, whoo, it, oh, 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 okay, came back. Okay, you could say something to me. It's all good, son, thank you very much. Um, Man, it just it just it comes a lot at a certain point, man. I definitely understand what he means. And I know he referenced it back earlier before when he was talking about, yo, let me just take some of that same energy, put that back into myself. Stop asking and I'll just start stop asking and start feeling myself type of thing. I feel that. I feel that for sure. This was a very I like yo, that sample was baby. I let me not even try to do it because I was gonna try and I was gonna mess it up. That sample was dope. That's some bullshit. I, I'm, I'm, I'm not gonna say I wish I was there. I'm gonna say I'm going to be there. Melvin, who did these sheets? Melvin Taylor did these sheets. And they're nice too. All right, that song right there was Sandra's Rose. I feel like there's one more line that I really missed that I wanna talk about, but I can't remember which one it was, man. Uh, I'm sure y'all know, y'all watch enough of these videos with me by now to know. If you know, just hit me up down below and let me know. Because I, I know I'm missing a line in this song that I want to talk about, but I, I can't find it right now. And I want to keep it moving. Sound like Indiana Jones. Let's make niggas a family. Head on a swivel, I can shoot, but I can never dribble. Life too short, I gotta get it for they blow the whistle. And with that, we are gonna move on to talk up. This one is the first feature, Drake featuring Hove. Let's go ahead and get into it, man. I don't even want to wait. I've been excited to hear this song. You know how I was talking about before their relationship early on. So without further ado, man, let's just hop into it. Talk Up is the next song. Let's go. Hey. Oh, hey. it started quick. Yeah. I wouldn't expect. Okay, where you at, ho? Done. You know what I'm hey. Hey. Um, that right there was talk up. Uh, was not expecting what we got in a good way. 
Uh, I thought with these two it'd be a more mellow type of thing, but it was cool that they took it up tempo, especially how Drake floated on it. Um, let me, cause I want to address what Ho just said, but let me just let me hold on. Let me. Was there anything specific? <laughs> He did talk about uh, Apple and the, um, you know, two for 40. I hope they gave you 20 more million for everything that you've been putting out. Because now that you look at it, long term wise, if you look at what Hove was trying to do with Drake early on in terms of like um, getting this money, uh, especially for like views and everything else that he's put out since then, and what Apple Music has flipped that into. Because like Apple Music was, was popping at that point, but. Views really did put that shit on the map, bro. And like, and so did Chance's album and whatnot. But um, the fact that Ho was trying to tell him early on, hey, bro, listen, they they trying to bait. Like, what I don't know how deep the conversation went, but with him trying to be like, hey, man, they trying to get you on this back end. Just work with me and we're going to make this happen. And he didn't. I know Drake is feeling some type of way. That's why he said before, like, yo, tell Apple I need some more money because, like, well, yo, I didn't have built this whole shit for y'all, like, off my back. Type of thing. Um, anyway, um, this song was absolute fire. Can we talk about Hove and the streets is done? Uh, before we even get to that line, I got your president tweet and he ain't getting no response. I'm paraphrasing. Um, I think that's a specific line that he said. Uh, first of all, that's just funny because. Knowing President Trump just wants to do everything to be Barack Obama, but better. Um, hey, ho, like, I got your buddy Kanye. Why don't you come on over here? Chilling all that, uh, Mr. Orange. Chilling all that. But y'all kill X and let Zimmerman live. The streets is done. I ain't really talked a lot. I talked to my radio show. So if y'all tune into the alternative uh, every week, I talk about um, you know stuff that happens and news and my last guest not this past week but the week last week because uh, it happened like right before the show we talked about XXX Tentacion um, and when I get that video I'll cut that up and put that out for y'all but um, I, I, I honestly I feel where you're coming from I agree I agree like it should be some type of like we should in a sense be looking at the streets in a way to be like yo all this rough stuff that y'all be doing and all this stuff that y'all be saying but when when shit really hits the fan and yo it's some unspoken stuff that i'm not saying should go down but some unspoken stuff that's like oh this probably is gonna happen type of thing and it doesn't but then it does to somebody like x you know unfortunately for me and like i said in my clip and i'll explain some more Anytime I think of X, it will be um, it will be gray. It will be cloudy because I did have hope for what he could ultimately turn into, but he was still so close to everything that he had done that it just kind of like confuses the entire situation, and it just proves that it was just an unfortunate situation in my mind. But I don't think that how everything went down it should have went that way whatsoever. Um, and, and you know, I definitely want to make sure that you you know God bless the dead. And that he rest in peace and that, um, you know, it's, it's the time for grieving is appropriate before people um, start hopping in with everything. But I feel you, ho, bro, because ain't no way in the world, man. Like, I remember sitting in Chicago in my grandmother's living room when the Zimmerman verdict hit. And, you know, back at home, ain't nothing for somebody to get popping off in the air like that. And I remember I was like... Yo, it's not 4th of July outside, so why do I hear so many fireworks? And it was not fireworks. We all know that them was gunshots. And I was, I, I honestly, in my head, I was like, yo, Zimmerman is a marked man, bro. I don't think he's going to make it. Because there's no way that you're causing this much outrage and then being so pompous about it. And it just happens like that. And nobody touches you. But, you know, he's, he's still living today. I'm not saying that I'm... Judging that man, because God is the only person that's going to judge, but or the only person, only being, the only only thing that can judge that man. But I thought something would, and it didn't. And I feel whole when he's like, yo, y'all letting this, like this kid who, yes, he had a, a cloudy past, but he was on the road to being able to figure that out. Now, in terms of his atonement for what had happened in the past, 
we can't ever say what truly will happen because of you know unfortunately it's over with but that was deep that was deep oh that was deep i was not ready for that um all right so this is the last song of uh side a and this is is there more and then we're gonna hop into side two so let's go ahead and get it uh is there more let's do it so much bro oh uh, some of y'all that don't know yeah that, that ended part reminded me so much of a lee i'm pretty sure that's where he got some of this from especially on that one man oh is there more what what can i ultimately say i feel like this is a song where, where drake is obviously very much searching for that next step that, that next phase to be like all right what's after all of this like what what more is there for me to do i'm at the top like what what more is there what more is it just commas at this point and proportionate body shapes at this point um what do oh shit i just lost it there was something that i wanted to say uh oh as soon as the album drop i'm out of the deal hey that young money deal over with huh you gonna start really getting some money ain't you now drake okay okay i feel you dog he like hey man listen this is it this is this is it. I'm always gonna be grateful to y'all. Always gonna be thankful for what y'all gave me. But I'm out the deal now at this point. Interesting, interesante is what I got to say about that. Um, man, Drake, I feel like there is more out there for you, brother, and that may be end up with your family time and just reinvesting that energy, like you said, back into the things that help to make you you, especially with you having your child now and addressing those things. You know, just really make. I'm I'm sure you're making making sure. That he has a good life but just really being there for those moments with your child i'm sure that's what you can do at this point man side a was cool bro side a was cool um i'm not gonna rank these songs because that's gonna be too much for me but i will say the side a was dope uh i'm guessing this was the more rapping side and that side b is gonna be more the singing side so we can go ahead and get into that in a little bit as well uh, was there anything more that I want to hit on? Is there more? I'm not in the tropics. Only crying I do is crying from laughing about it. On plan to survive, love the good and bad. I take it without I, yo, why Drake always giving so many captions? Forget the good and the bad. I take it without. Uh, they say you got to take the good with the bad. I take it without. How many people have already posted a picture using this caption, bruh? I already know, dog. Like, it's. Never fails that Drake always gives some captions that some people immediately are gonna run away with. But, um, man, Side A was great, man. Side A was great. Uh, very excited for this project. I feel like Side A, um, especially like, uh, what, oh, what do I wanna go? Really, honestly, seven through 12, I, I'm gonna need more time to sink in with. Um, excuse me, four emotionless. Shout out to you, mama, you picked a good one. Um, Elevate, I'm gonna need some more time to sink in with too. Survival, survival was a great way to start, and non stop was kind of, ah, I'm not feeling non stop as much. I wish non stop would have been shorter so that survival could have been longer, but nonetheless, it is what we got. All right, y'all, this has been side A. Uh, thank y'all so much for watching. Now we're gonna go ahead and hop into side B. Uh, remember, Please remember to like, share, comment, and subscribe to the video down below. Let me know what you think. Are you messing with side A? Or are you not messing with side A? What's good with you? Um, stay blessed. Stay favored. Always stay tailored. I will see y'all in the side B video. Peace and love.